now I will go ahead with the first step installing the motors followed by installing the wheels and finally installing the small bow at front of the road the steps shown on this page I'll start by opening this bag which is called drive installation package it contains the motors and the wheel as well as everything else necessary to mount the motors I'll start by closely examining how the motors should be installed it appears that they will go right here at those two locations I will make sure they are identical they appear to be completely identical yes all connectors and everything is exactly identical my assumption in this case is that it doesn't matter how exactly you mount the motor it is purely up to you to decide how to orient it to mount the motors we will use these plastic parts here let's see what they call them well whatever they call them the name is only in Chinese so I am not sure without translator what they have decided to call them we will obviously use these small bolts and nuts from the back I will open the back take all the bolts and nuts out for easy access they appear to be all of the same size and shape obstructions that I can easily remove so the plastic part will go like this with the longer part more to the inside let me see is that correct no this is not actually correct according to the picture it should be the okay like this it seems yes so the motor goes in this plastic part with the sticking part of the plastic part toward this gearbox we'll put nuts in their places right here I'll start by putting them first in with the help of the screwdriver appears to be slightly tricky but shouldn't be that bad Okay, it's a bit tricky to get the nut in this location. It has exactly the shape of the nut. Again, there are some plastic spill out, I believe, parts from the injection mold, which I can easily clean. So again, we have to insert one end of the nut 
underneath, slightly underneath, and then press the other end. Now I'm getting better, and the second one went very easily. I'll go ahead and repeat the same step here. Clean a little bit the plastic to make it nice and neat. It's purely optional, but I like it to look nice and neat. Take a nut, insert it partially underneath, and then using the screwdriver, push it in place. Again, not everyone goes very easily, but with some practice, I'm sure I will get better. This so far seems to be the trickiest part in the assembly process. The good news is that once when the nut is properly inserted, and you can see it inserted here underneath, you don't need any other tool. It will be properly held in place and hopefully mounting will be extremely easy. This one went very easily, so some are easier to insert than others. I'll go ahead, place the second motor exactly the same way with the gearbox sticking on the outside. This longer part closer to the gearbox and place the two motors to see how everything is going to look once mounted in place. It's all looking good as far as I can tell. We obviously will put the motors on the bottom side where the two line following sensors are and the two connectors for the motors. Insert a bolt through this hole here. Second one through the other hole. Place the motor on this side and start tightening the two bolts using the screwdriver. Tighten a little bit one of them, a little bit the other one and then keep doing that until everything adjusts in place and then we can tighten the motor in place. This motor is mounted. Now go ahead and repeat the same with this motor. A little bit this one, a little bit this one and then tighten. Now as you can see, the two motors are properly mounted in place. At this stage, they have not yet shown connecting the motors here, though I can probably go ahead and do it, but I will leave that as next step. Once when the two motors are in place, I can go ahead and install the wheels on the motors. As you can see, the shape of the axle has one fi uh, flat side, and the same is true for the wheel. So I will align the flat parts, insert the wheel into the motor and this wheel is done. We we'll insert the wheels from this side which has obviously part for rotary and collar which in this case is not part of this kit as far as I can tell but probably can be installed optionally. Easily insert this wheel as well. Both wheels are in place 
And now the only remaining part for this page of the installation is to install this wheel here at front. For this we will use two bolts. I will start by protruding one of the bolts through the hole, insert the wheel. If necessary, since the hole seems a little tight, I can use the screwdriver. To drive the, the bolt through the hole, actually screwdriver is not needed, I could have just used my fingers, but nonetheless, I will put it, put in it. Do not over tight. Just enough to hold it in place so it can properly adjust. Take another bolt, insert it on this side. Again, if necessary, use the screwdriver to drive it through. Use the small nut, place it on this side. And now I can go ahead and tighten everything. If necessary, I can use some pliers to hold the nuts in place, but in this case it doesn't seem to be necessary. And this part of the assembly process appears to be complete. We have the bottom part of the chassis complete, except the battery. We will mount it toward the end of the assembly process. Now we can go ahead with the next stage, which will be installing the ultrasonic ranger on top. And after that installing battery and the microbit controller. Thank you and uh, stay tuned for the next assembly video.